Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday the 15th of January 2024. Uh, a fun, full day of streaming today. Let's recap what went down. Uh, first of all, on the podcast, covered a lot of interesting topics. Big news regarding DSP Throwback, my new channel. Basically, is qualified for YouTube partner status, but not fully. So I talked all about that in detail and my plans for the channel, including possibly doing my first ever live stream on it next week. In addition to that, uh, you know, there was discussion about some other stuff going on right now in my life, but also a lot of Q&A and fun stuff. So a good podcast this morning with some humor to it as well. I hope you'll check that out if you didn't see it yet. Then we jumped into Baldur's Gate 3, and basically we're in the final area of the Underdark, which entails a few different things, including this new Forge area. Um, basically today, it was a fun stream. We redid a fight that I had screwed up last stream, did it much better this time, got a better resolution, and continued on with the exploration. Again, this game is so slow moving. Here we are, you think, oh, we'll finish this segment today. Oh no, not even close. Even in three hours, not enough to finish up this Forge exploration segment. There's just so much to it. Um, so anyway, you know, had a good time with it. And uh, in general, made great progress, got to the very end, got to the big boss fight at the Forge, and it was incredibly frustrating. Um, once again, what this game has done is created a fight situation where you can't prepare for it. It's something you've never seen in the game before. you got to learn new mechanics on the fly, and it's frustrating. Um, this is a fight that if it was a normal boss fight, it would have been like 15 minutes, and instead it took me over an hour because I had to redo it, not understanding the mechanics, and finally I got them down. I got a little lucky, and I finally got it beat. And I'm like, sheesh, that was ridiculous. And it's weird because some people were like, oh, he's definitely not going to like the rest of the game because all of Act 3 is like this. But then it's funny because someone left a comment on the video and was like, that's not the case at all. Act 3 has the best fights and they're more consistent and they're better than this. So I don't know what someone's saying. I don't know. I don't spoil myself on these games. But great progress still. And it looks like one more stream of this, which is actually going to be... Um, it's actually going to be uh, Wednesday. Looks like we will finish the Underdark. And then we can move on to other areas. I think the final area in Act 1 is the Mountain Pass. Okay? Cool. Uh, tonight's late stream was Sea of Stars. Great progress in Sea of Stars. As you know, I really like this game, but I haven't had a lot of time to focus on it. So this week I decided to do three streams of it. Tonight was stream number two. We got to a Wraith Island, which is a haunted island, basically, with all these creepy mechanics. Uh, you know, townspeople are getting mind-controlled and, and caught into, or brought into like a haunted mansion, almost like Castlevania. Um, and then we went into this big bog, this necromancer's bog, and we're going through doing this dungeon. New, new enemies, new party member tonight, new new abilities, good stuff. Had a great time. Admittedly, I do wish that more people would watch Sea of Stars. Because here's the thing. How often do I hear people say things like, you don't play enough indie games, right? You, don't, you just don't, Phil. You don't play enough indies. Um, you play too many mainstream games. So then every time I play an indie game without fail, it doesn't do well. You know, just being honest, it just doesn't. Whenever I play an indie game, I get low attendance, low engagement, and low support. And with Sea of Stars, it is definitely my least watched stream. Like, we can barely retain 200 viewers on a stream, even though the game is great. And the people that are there are having a good time and we're having good interaction. It's just not for most of my viewers for whatever reason. Um, luckily, we do have a couple people who are supporters of the playthrough, and that's great. So it's not like this is like, oh my god, a dead knight or anything like that when it comes to business-wise. But... Uh, it is disappointing that for whatever reason, more people are not watching the playthrough. It's an outstanding game. It won Indie of the Year at the Game Awards. It's super good, right? Um, I don't get it, but then again, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really coincide all the time with my audience. I know that they have difference of opinion with me on games that are good. I think this game is outstanding. Um, anyway, two great hours, great progress. We're actually right in the midst of a dungeon, but we kind of know exactly what to do to finish it up. So actually, tomorrow... It looks like we'll probably finish it, which we'll talk about now. So that was the streaming day. By the way, one other thing. I made a special vlog for over on DSP Throwback to let everyone over there know that the channel's now partnered if they're interested in maybe doing a super thanks or becoming a member, but also to start a poll about my first ever stream over there because it's looking like possibly next week on, on one of the weeknights, I might do a late night stream over there. And the options would either be A, a stream where we hang out and we talk about the old days of YouTube and I field questions and Q&A from the chat about basically how was it like to be a YouTuber 15 years ago, right? What was the atmosphere like? What was the uploading tools like? What was the channel page like? The channel pages were so different um, and so much better than today's. Seriously, they were much better back then. Uh, but also, what was the climate like? What was it like talking with people on YouTube and having comments and everything and to be a YouTuber, you know, re people reaching out to you and stuff? It was pretty unique and different from it is how it is today, for sure. Um, 
So, we could have a nice chill night like that, and maybe do a little bit of retro gaming off of Switch Online just for fun. You know, pick a game or two off of there and just play it for, for a little bit, because that kind of content, honestly, doesn't really fit into DSP gaming. Most people wouldn't care about the old days of YouTube or want to see me just play a retro thing. I thought that would be a neat idea for my first stream. Or... <clears throat> Another idea I had was a live react stream where I would react to one of those playthroughs, either Final Fantasy 13 or Red Dead Redemption, that are going live on the channel for a couple of hours, just react to my own content. And that could be an ongoing series where every once in a while I go back and I watch a couple more hours of my old playthrough. That could work too, right? So uh, if you're interested, if you like the throwback content, please head over to DSP Throwback right now. That's youtube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. Check out the vlog and please vote in the poll on the community tab on what kind of stream you'd like to possibly see next week. In the meantime, I have some work to do to get that set up. Obviously, I'd have to get moderators in place. I'd have to make it so that all the chat bots and everything are working properly, and I, I'll, I will have to work on that, okay? But anyway, thank you all. I hope that you enjoyed today's content. I had a great time with all of you. Tomorrow, it is more Resident Evil Zero Remastered, which I'm very excited for because we got past some of the more difficult parts of the game, and we're in the final push of the factory, which I think is the final area. Um, I don't think we'll beat it tomorrow, but I think we'll do some pretty good progress. Tomorrow night, more Sea of Stars. We're going to wrap up this dungeon, this Necromancer dungeon, and keep moving forward. I think that's going to be great. So I hope you will join me tomorrow for all the fun here on DSP Gaming. All right, guys. Thank you so very much. Have a good evening. Reminder, there is a new family night stream coming Wednesday night with me, Kat, and Jasper. If you're interested, right here, uh, my second ever. I'm excited for that. So I hope you'll be here for that. In the meantime, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, everyone. Good night.